Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Jen and this is Through Thick and Thin. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, thank you for stopping by. I would love if you could hit that subscribe button. Our YouTube family is growing and I would love for you to stick around. If you're returning, thank you so much. Love to have you. Thanks for coming back. I just went shopping at Costco and Meyer, and I wanted to show you all what I picked up for this week. And I do have all of the prices, so if you are interested in what everything costs, stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the frozen stuff because it needs to get into the freezer. Um, so these meatballs, we love them in this house. Um, they're from Costco, obviously, Kirkland brand. They only have one carb per meatball. If you are a low carb or keto friend, check these out. My understanding is that they are one of the lower carb meatballs available. And they were on sale this week, which is why I went ahead and picked them up. And then these, I'm not keto, as you guys probably know, but I do uh, realize that a bunch of added carbs all the time and added sugars do affect me. And I'm actually like weirdly at the point in my life now where I could feel it. I used to laugh so much at my mom when I was a kid because she would eat something sweet and say, I can just feel the sugar. And I was like, yeah, yeah, mom, okay. You guys, I can feel the sugar, okay? <laughs> Sorry for laughing at you, mom. Uh, but it's only two grams net carbs per bar with no added sugar. Now it does have some fakey sweeteners in them. And my aunt did tell me that some people can have issues with, I think it was like sugary something. Apparently some people can have issues with that, so know that that's in there, but otherwise I think those are delicious. And then I have in the back, you guys know I love Palermo's Thin Crust Pizza. It is ultra thin crust, uh, kind of allows you to eat the entire pizza if you really, really want to. And this week we went ahead and got the pepperoni version. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw those things into the freezer and we will pop back for the rest of our grocery haul. Okay, so let's move on to the produce section of our haul here. Um, I got this eggplant. Now I know eggplant, not a lot of people cook with it. It's actually really, really easy to roast up in the oven and I got this to go with these squash and I'm going to roast them and then mix them in with pasta. That is a very easy way to get some veggies in and it just adds a little bit of sweetness, a little extra flavor to your pasta. I really, really like it. And then I got some asparagus. I think I'm gonna make just like some roasted chicken this week. And I do love asparagus. And if you didn't know, you should store asparagus in water. So. Don't just throw asparagus in your fridge. It will go bad much faster. Stick it in a cup or a mason jar filled with water. I got this cauliflower because somebody on the internet, I don't really know who, told me that you can chop up cauliflower very finely and mix it in with taco meat. And I wanted to have tacos this week. So hopefully they are not doing me dirty over here. Um, I really like to mix in vegetables with my meals as opposed to having them on the side. I just feel like I'm much happier to eat them if they're mixed in with the main dish. So we're going to try that and I will report back to you guys on my Instagram and let you know how that went. We'll probably have that on Tuesday because you know, Taco Tuesdays. And then I don't really love iceberg lettuce. The only time I love it is on a taco, which is why we have iceberg lettuce here. And then the pineapples were on sale this week, so I could not pass that up. It was too good to keep walking. I tend to prefer ground turkey to ground beef. 
in almost every sense unless it's a burger i don't know why i will eat ground beef in a burger but if i'm making tacos or a meat sauce or whatever i can't do ground beef i just don't like it nearly as much and the ground turkey is normally cheaper and it has less fat so it kind of works out and then we got some eggs those are just like for breakfast nothing super fancy there and then I got some Mio drops to try. These were on sale this week. And I feel like whenever I buy them, they help me drink water. I know there's like chemically crappy stuff, but I'm trying to cut myself a little bit of slack lately. So uh, I figured I would try this out. I love fruit punch and grape. I don't know what berry grape means. I feel like it probably means I just couldn't get close enough to the grape flavor. I'm called a berry grape. I don't know. Maybe that's me being cynical. We'll see how they taste. And then... This is like my favorite brand of kind of like the higher end pasta sauces, if you will. It's still, it's not as expensive and they were actually on sale this week, which is why I got them, but they are delicious. So, you know, try them. Let me know what you think. And then these, I am a sucker for a good vodka sauce and they just looked fancy. I mean, there's a car on them. So that's it's an Italian car, you guys. It, it, it's gotta be good, right? And they were on sale. So I figured, why not? Let's try and let's be adventurous. And then this guy, this, I don't know, looks delightful. And it was like a really good price. And I was like, I didn't come to Costco for this item, but it's coming home with me. You know, sometimes it just happens. And then let's turn that guy around. This is just for my coffee in the morning. If you guys know me, you know that I'm a little extra and I eat this with berries as well sometimes, but um, I really love coffee with whipped cream on it. And then I'll be honest, you guys, I'm not the biggest fan of pumpkin spice lattes. Like I'm not that basic, but since it is past pumpkin spice latte season, these were on clearance and I do love Starbucks creamer. And the best buy date was still not until the end of February. So I will definitely go through those in time. And then I got some sour cream for our taco night. You guys, I know it's crazy. Like I love this little squeezy tube. I know it's like literally twice the price as the one in the container, but the convenience so worth the extra dollar or two it, it is and then moving over here to our little dairy section i for lunches this week wanted to try this rotisserie chicken salad on croissants sounded really yummy i don't know i must have seen it on the internet somewhere um, i have had this before this is the costco rotisserie chicken salad it's delicious i think we just use their leftover rotisserie chickens to make it but mm, so good and then someone on the internet told me, this is all just someone on the internet told me, I think I've been watching too many of these grocery haul videos, but someone told me that this brand of cheese is the bomb and they will always pay extra to get it and it was at Costco and per pound or whatever, it was cheaper than the Costco brand. So I was like, you know what, let's try it. So hopefully they did not do me dirty because I wanna make a very yummy uh, macaroni and cheese, so. And then these were buy one, get one 50% off. I feel like I am always in need of Parmesan cheese. I think I'm gonna make a Parmesan crusted chicken this week, but I feel like, you know, pastas, there's just so much you can put Parmesan cheese on. So, you know. And then our little carby section over here. So these flour tortillas are obviously for our taco night. And then we're trying some Rayo's pasta this week. I think I will have this for whenever I have spaghetti and meatballs and this one for whenever I have the vodka sauce and I don't know that I'm even gonna have both of these this week I like just have so much food on hand but I figured I might as well have them if I was getting the sauce might as well get pasta to go with it and then this is for when I make a mac and cheese cavatappi noodles I don't know it says superior quality pasta so they can't lie right and these are the croissants that I got from Costco. I will just end up freezing these. Um, 
There's no way I can get through these in time before they go bad, but you can stick bread in the freezer and then either toast it or um, microwave it for a few seconds wrapped in paper towel. And it comes out like you just baked it and you can like save on costs. I should just title this someone on the internet told me because someone on the internet told me this tastes like you made it fresh. Uh, apparently very delicious. Sorry if you can hear Ray. She apparently wanted to make an appearance in this video. But apparently this is like you just made salsa fresh. So we'll try it. And then this is um, the other half of my breakfast for this week. So I'll probably have some eggs, like an omelet one morning or two, but wanted to get some Kodiak cakes. And then this um, syrup was just such a good price. And I'm like, I think I have syrup for like the next year. So that's cool. And then of course it is Christmas. And I did check my Christmas wrapping and I did need more wrapping paper. And these guys are just so cute. Like look how cute those little Santas are. Oh my goodness. All right, so that's gonna wrap up today's video. Uh, thank you so, so much for checking out my grocery haul. Um, I really enjoy making these videos for you guys. You guys seem to like them. So it's like a good thing we got going on here. Let me know if you appreciated me putting the prices in. I haven't done that before, but I saw a couple of videos doing that and I was like, wow, that's really helpful. So I know if I wanna buy that too. So let me know what you thought about that. Um, I should have a video coming out soon about my 2021 intentions. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you so, so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, give me a like if you enjoyed the video. And remember, you can make today a great day or not, the choice is yours. Have a good one. I can help you.